In pre-resuscitation team briefing, we review the risk factors and management plans developed during antenatal counseling. We identify the team leader and assign the roles and responsibilities of each team member. Once the baby is delivered, we do thorough drying and quick assessment. Is the baby apneic, gasping, or limp? If yes, we call for help. We change the wet linen. We clamp and cut the cord and transfer the baby to the warmer. Position the airway in sniffing position and clear secretions if needed. We evaluate the baby in terms of heart rate, breathing, and oxygen saturations. If the heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute, and if the baby is apneic or gasping, and if the target O to SAT is below the target range despite 100% free flow oxygen, we proceed to PPV. All of these steps are done within 60 seconds. We have two techniques for PPV. The first is the one hand technique. Hold the mask with thumb and index finger and the three fingers under the bony angle of the jaw and gently lift the jaw upward toward the mask. Breathe two, three, breathe two, three, breathe two, three, breathe two, three. Breathe. The second technique is the two-hand technique with jaw thrust. The thumb and the index finger of both hands hold the mask against the face. Are the three fingers under the bony angle of the jaw and gently lift the jaw upward toward the mask. Another team member stands at the baby's side and squeezes the back or occludes the TP's cap. And the third person monitors the baby's response. Breathe two, three, breathe two, three, breathe two, three, breathe two, three. After 15 seconds of PPV, check if heart rate is increasing or not. If it is increasing, continue PPV and do second assessment of the heart rate after 15 seconds. If heart rate is not increasing and chest is moving, continue PPV and do second assessment after 15 seconds of PPV. If heart rate is not increasing and chest is not moving, perform ventilation corrective steps. Continue PPV that moves the chest for 30 seconds and do second assessment after. For the ventilation corrective steps, we do first mass readjustment and reposition the airway. Try quick PPV and reassess chest movement. If there is no chest movement, suction the mouth and the nose and open the mouth. Try quick PPV and reassess again chest movement. If there is still no chest movement, do pressure increase. Try quick PPV and reassess chest movement. If there is none, do alternative airways. After 30 seconds of PPV, check heart rate. Discontinue PPV when baby has a heart rate of more than 100 beats per minute and sustained spontaneous breathing. If heart rate is at least 60 beats per minute but less than 100 beats per minute, continue PPV. If the heart rate remains less than 60 beats per minute despite 30 seconds of PPV that moves the chest through alternative airway, Increase oxygen concentration to 100% and begin chest compression. Dr. Celine, please check the heart rate. Cardiophane, it's still 50 beats per minute. Doctor, need start chest compressions. Run your fingers along the subcostal margin until you locate the siphoid process. Make an imaginary line between the nipples. Place your thumbs on the sternum below the nipple line and above the siphoid process. Press the sternum and fingers should support the back. Apply pressure during compression on the sternum and release pressure to allow chest recoil and ventilation. Depress the sternum one third of the anteroposterior diameter of the chest. And one and two and three and breathe. And one and two and three and breathe. And one and two and three and breathe. If heart rate is less than 60 beats per minute, Consider giving epinephrine via umbilical vein catheter or ET tube. Consider hypovolemia or pneumothorax.